Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today I have a special video for you. I've been getting tons of questions on how do I build a WordPress website? Well, I'm going to tell you how to do it start to finish without all of the fluff. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and just knock it out and show you how to do it within almost 10 to 12 minutes. You'll have a WordPress website up and running. So stick with me and I will show you all of the steps you need to have your WordPress website up and running. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first things first, you're going to need a hosting service. So if you don't want the WordPress branding on your site, and who does, you're going to need a hosting service to host your WordPress content on it. So the website content like images, videos, audio, you're going to need a host. So the first thing you need to do is find a host that you like. Me personally, I like bluehost.com. Uh, it's $4.95 a month. I have a link in the description box that'll have it. Uh, you get a discount for $3.95 a month. So if that's what you want to do, go ahead and do it. If not, there are other ones out there such as HostGator, like right here, you'll see HostGator. So it all depends on what you want to use. Bluehost has been very reliable for me and I've got five or six websites running up with Bluehost and they have not given me any problem. Some of the benefits are you can have as many domain names as you want. Uh, you know, it, it touts that it'll never go down. You can have email addresses. Uh, there's just so much stuff that you can do 24-7 uh, support. And the best thing is the one-click install for WordPress. So let's go ahead and jump into that now. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is pick the hosting service for you. So once you've done that, you're going to log into your hosting service, whether that be Bluehost, whether that be HostGator, whatever it is. You'll need to go through there and go through the process of get started. And then what you'll do is, even with Bluehost, they'll actually provide you with a free domain name. So instead of going through GoDaddy or uh, Hover.com to get a domain name, you can actually purchase the hosting service from Bluehost and they'll provide you with a free domain name with that package. Type in your domain name under the new domain box and then hit the next button. Once you've done that, you're going to be prompted to select the service that you want, fill out all of the information, and then once you pay for the service, you're going to be logged in and you're going to see something like this. This is what I call your control panel. This is where all of the magic happens. Now, you're going to see something that says install WordPress. It does it automatically within literally a minute. Under a minute, you will have WordPress installed on your hosting service, and that domain name will be linked to this WordPress website. It's that easy. Within HostGator, you'll see something here that says uh, one-click install or install website or whatever it is. So you'll see something within HostGator that says the same thing. So what you're going to do is click on the install WordPress button there. It will then prompt you to this next page. It'll say, give me a minute while it's loading, and it'll show you this nice little icon here. As we wait, let me explain something to you. Once you install WordPress, you will get the free WordPress updates just like you would if you were doing it through the WordPress.org or .com website. Now, you're going to see two different options here. You're going to see one that says start a brand new install or import an existing installation. In this case, we're going to click the start a brand new install. Once we've done that, it'll bring up a list of our domain names that we have under our hosting service. So for me, I've got a bunch of them here. I'm going to go ahead and click on one here that I have not already installed WordPress on. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go to check domain, which is that button down below there. It'll then check your domain, make sure you don't already have a WordPress site already installed on it or a WordPress version already installed on it. Then it'll say, it looks like you already have some files installed. Don't worry about that. If you've just purchased this domain name, click the green continue button. It will then say this, you are almost there. This is the last step. Show advanced options or I have read the terms and conditions. Guys, just click on that there and then go to install now, that green button. And within literally 30 to 45 seconds, you will now be running WordPress on that domain name. So it'll say here as you know, we're setting up the WordPress for you, it'll show you a green progress bar in the upper hand side of the screen. Again, this is going to look a little different when you're using like HostGator or GoDaddy to host, you know, your website. But if you're using Bluehost, you can walk right through it with me. But again, you're still the same concept. So once it is done installing, and again, this will take literally 30 to 45 seconds, and I'm not pausing and cutting away because I want you to see how quickly this actually installs onto the hosting service. So let's go ahead and wait a few more seconds here as that green bar progresses through. So I'm going to close out of that and tell you a few other things. 
One more thing you need to note is that once this is installed, you know, you may have to install plugins and a few things like that to customize it, but you're going to be able to log in through like your domain name slash admin. So if your website is, oh, there it is, it's done. If your website is google.com, you know, slash admin, you can log into the admin side and that's where you'll do all of the editing and that's where you'll post the post on your site and things such as that. Now we're done. So once we are done, all we have to do is go back to our Bluehost site, uh, or you know they're trying to upsell a few things here. You do not have to do any of that. All right, now once we've done that and we have already installed WordPress on the hosting service, we now are going to want to log in. It's very easy to do that. All you're going to need to do is go to the URL that you have linked to your hosting service, whatever the domain name is for your website, and then type that domain name slash admin. Once you do that, you're going to be prompted with the WordPress login, like you see here. So type in your username, just like so, and then the password you chose during installation. So you will get a, an email that says this from Bluehost or whatever your hosting service is. It'll say, your new WordPress site has been successfully set up at, and then it'll tell you your username. It'll say the password has been set by you during installation. Once we have our username and password, go ahead and click on the blue login button just like that there. Once we've done that, you are done. You are now at your website's dashboard. You now can go in and you can add posts. You can go in and add pages. You can go in and add plugins to customize your WordPress website. But as far as that goes, you now have a WordPress website. You need to stay tuned to this series of videos, and I'm going to get in depth on how to add plugins, how to add posts, what plugins are best to have, and what's going to be able to help you with SEO with your website. Keep up to date on this video series on how to create a WordPress website from start to finish. And I'll have the links all in the description box as soon as I release them. But hopefully this will get you up and started and you can play with it. Go ahead and write your first blog post, add an About Me page, just jump in head first and really enjoy the WordPress platform. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, go ahead and help me out. Click that like button, thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to my channel for more great content, tech news, reviews, unboxings, tutorials, everything just like that. And I will see you guys in the next one.